This video demonstrates how to build rows of seats in the theaterinvite.com room builder. If you haven't watched the introductory video, you might want to watch it first to get a quick update on all the different features of the room builder. So let's start by pulling some chairs out. We'll pull out this first, uh, basically like a recliner that you might buy in the store. Now the room builder shows us that it's 36 inches wide and 36, 31 inches in length. So if that's not the size of your seats, you'll need to rescale it. Uh, so let's say that uh, our seats are 39 inches wide, so we need to widen it by 3 inches. So let's stretch it horizontally, 37, 38, 39. And let's say that our seats are 33 inches in length, so we'll need to stretch it vertically by a couple inches. So 32 and 33. Okay, so now we've got our seat the proper size. And just a quick note, uh, for right now you can only rescale images or objects when they're facing straight forward. In other words, at zero degrees. So rather than pull out each seat and have to rescale it, all we have to do is rescale the first seat. And then what we can do is clone it. So I'm holding the control key down on the keyboard and I can drag away and you can see that I can easily create a clone of the first seat and it retains that size. So let's pull out four and again holding the control key down while I'm dragging each one. Let's say that uh, we have uh, three rows of four seats for this particular theater. So you can see that we have our four seats out. They're not quite aligned perfectly. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to move them so that they're aligned in the same method or same manner that we have in our home theater. Now sometimes you can align them with the, the mouse, sometimes it's a little difficult. Um, in that case let's use our arrow keys up here on the control panel to move them a pixel at a time. Okay that looks pretty good, all of them seem to be aligned uh, just about correctly. Now when you're building rows of seats you do not have to align them or place them in the room exactly where they go initially. You can actually build the row like we have here and then grab and move the entire group. So in order to grab a group uh, it's recommended that you move the cursor somewhat in the upper left corner of your group, hold down the mouse button and then drag across all of the seats. Notice how they all highlight as soon as they're selected. So now that I've done that I'm going to release the mouse button and now they're a highlighted group. Now I can actually move this group anywhere I need to on the screen. And I can also clone the group by holding down the control key and dragging away. And I can actually clone it again. And just like when we were moving a single object you can do rotation and uh, movement uh, of the entire group. So let's uh, move it down a couple clicks and we'll move it over just a little bit. There we go. Now let's uh, highlight this group and let's do the same thing. Let's move it down. We'll use the arrows in the upper right of the control panel here to fine-tune our position. I'm just moving it a teeny bit to the left and then we'll highlight our top row and then move it. Yeah. That's really all there is to it and of course if you wanted to you could rotate the entire group or do pretty much whatever you need to. Let me show you how to make a curved row. So let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this first row and I'm going to delete it. We'll highlight the second row, delete it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone uh, a, a, one more chair off this and we'll start another row. And again, as I mentioned, we'll do a curved row. So we'll do that one first. We'll pull up another one. This one will uh, give it a rotation of 10 degrees 
And for this seat out here, we'll give it a rotation of about 20 degrees. There's 20 degrees. And then we'll do just the opposite over here on the right side. So let's rotate 10 degrees. And if you need uh, finer degree increments than 5 degrees, you can use these small arrows here. They rotate at half a degree. And again, you notice down here it shows the degree of rotation. So this particular seat is minus 10 degrees. And our final seat will take up here. And we'll rotate it minus, you can see minus 20 degrees. Now you'll notice here the size of the seat has changed. It's showing it's now 48 inches wide and 45 inches in length. And that's simply because it's rotated. So uh, from the left side, to the right side here is now larger than a seat that's facing straight forward. So, so it's not actually uh, the actual size of the seat, but the size uh, the, the, or the space that the seat takes up. Um, the seat needs to be pace, facing straight forward as this one is. Uh, you can see I just clicked on it. You can see it's showing the original size, 39 inches uh, wide by 33 inches in length. So once we've got our row, uh, if we wanted to say we had two rows of uh, curved seating in our home theater, again, just simply hold down the mouse button, drag across all of them until they're highlighted, and then I'm going to clone this. So I'll hold the control key down on the keyboard, grant my clone, and position it. And then I'm going to highlight this first group again, and I can move it in position. And there we go. And that is it. And then, of course, you can go ahead and save it when you're done.